Hi, I'm Julie Yerk, a certified professional inspector with InterNACHI. I own and operate Empowered Home Inspections, and I'm going to show you the water heater. The water heater is in the crawl space in this home, so let's go check it out. All right, here we are in the crawl space. Nice that this has a good open space for moving around and looking at things. Um, according to our standards of practice, we need to document the size of this water heater, so um, we're going to find the label and uh, note that size and put that on our report. The other things we're looking for is the temperature pressure release valve. It is missing the discharge pipe. Um, typically those are copper or PVC and they need to be no closer than two inches to the floor, um, but a minimum six inches down. And now I'm going to look at the water lines. Cold is cold, hot is hot. Um, I see a little bit of orange here that's indicative of backdrafting. So at some point this hood wasn't set right. So, um, but it looks fine now and the pipe looks good. Um, we're going to work our way down and check out the gas. We're going to note that this is um, gas, not electric. That is something according to our standards of practice we record. Also, there's a drip leg, which we need to have. So I'm glad to see that. Um, kind of following the pipe along. Everything looks good, looks sealed up there. Also, I'm going to come back up here, kind of see what we've got going on here. There's a lot going on. Um, this must be for an evaporative cooler. There's a little bit of corrosion going on. My feeling is um, sometimes that can be a sealant. This really isn't much for corrosion. This is really more just discoloration. When you see a lot of corrosion, uh, I recommend repair. Um, a little bit of corrosion is normal, and sometimes uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it, so leave it. Um, but note that on your report. This does not have a pan. It doesn't need to have a pan. Um, it's not on the second floor of a house uh, where it's going to cause damage should it leak. Um, this is kind of a neat little thing somebody's added is a water alarm. Those are kind of fun. We don't test those. That's not in our standards of practice. It's just a little extra thing to have for precaution. Some inspectors like to note uh, service life on water heaters. I don't ever note service life on water heaters. Uh, it's not up to me to say how long they're really going to last. Uh, I did do an inspection on one that was from 1987 and still working. That one I did note that might be close to its end of life, but I do just take a picture of the label and make sure that's on my report. Okay, everything else looks pretty good on this, and I think that would conclude our inspection of this water heater. I'm Julie Irk. Thank you for joining me.